evening, ghouls and goblins, and welcome back to another Tim and Katie haunt vlog. It is Wednesday, May 17th, and we don't normally do things on Wednesdays because we're old, we have early bedtimes, and we have nine to fives, we gotta get it for tomorrow, <laughs> which will suck. But this was well worth the exception to the rule because tonight we are at Laurel's House of Horror here in Laurel, Maryland for the dress rehearsal of their Halfway to Halloween event. We've been invited by the Haunt family here to take you behind the scenes or perhaps more appropriately behind the screen to show you a little bit about what it takes to bring an event like this together. We want to give a huge thanks to the Haunt family for hosting us tonight and allowing us to go behind the scenes to see how all of this works. We're going to be here all night for the dress rehearsal and then in a couple of days we're going to come back to shoot the main event on May 20th, the second of two days this Halfway to Halloween event is going on. For you, this will all be one long video. Let's get behind the streams. I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And we do things like this. I would think this would go without saying, but before any show can begin, the actors have to arrive, they have to get costumed, and they have to get made up. So, we've been given special access to show you the behind the scenes here at the dress rehearsal. So excited. Let's go check this out. Donald, no! What happened to you? That sounds dangerous. Oh no, we go. We go up to another actor with this one. Be like, <laughs> Check out the costumes. Put something fun reactive. Everybody else. Not blood? Blood. Not blood? Blood. Am I to understand that some of this blood is not real? My world is shattered. I don't hate standing in this pineapple scented mist. <laughs> So how long does makeup take per person if you're doing like the whole shebang? So it's always going to depend on like if we're doing icons, theater leaders, just you know the normal actors that are running amok in the haunt, or if we're doing like event staff. So it typically can go anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes sometimes, but that's pushing it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Inside, it's dress rehearsal time. We're on the clock. You're not even part of it yet! So our setting is actually pretty unique to a lot of other haunts that you'll find. Uh, being in a movie theater itself, it's already very different from a warehouse or the woods or a barn or anything like that. We're able to use different aspects of like the sloping floors, the seats, just the, the fact that when you go into some rooms, you still see the giant projection screen in there. We can play things on top of that. We can really tie a room in all together to be able to bring the movies to life in a bigger way and then shoot you right through our stage cinema that we have here. I know that some of you guys have maybe, you know, don't have any costumes or have costumes but want to express them. I am willing to let you guys come in tomorrow and we can help you guys tatter them up a little bit or a little bit of spray paint if you guys want. Um, just so that we all look cool for the Sounds good? No, you can't! I know! That was the Laurel Hunt pep rally, is what I'm calling it. I don't know if that's actually what they call it, but it was super fun to be in the room for that. And now we're going to actually get to go through and test run. For, we're, the, we're actually the test subjects for this particular haunt. So this is exciting. We get to be... They actually invite some friends and family to come. They do, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we won't be in there alone, but we will be the ones with cameras. So you guys will be able to come with us a little bit. I don't know if we highlighted this last time because we were in such a hurry to get through the maze, but the first thing you see when you walk in here is ballet. The stuff of actual nightmares. Ran into the wall. Ah! <laughs> Why can't any of you? You will. 
We're going through this gentleman. Oh, he did not make it. Whoa, whoa, hi! I'm glad y'all made it to the bar. I have the most wonderful refreshments lined up for y'all. It is a mud, blood, and crud mix, and I call it swamp juice, and it is just the most wonderful thing. You cannot believe it. You all have to taste it. Believe it. Sounds delicious. This is one of the coolest rooms, just because it's like a shipwreck. I mean, it is a shipwreck. That's literally what it is. <laughs> Butcher! The baker. Who is it? The candlestick. Oh, no. Quarantine. Oh, oh, oh my god! You're back again! Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to knock. I'll knock next time. I'm sorry. You look fabulous, though. All hail Jebediah. That seems normal. You, sir, are facing the wrong way. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're ah! I've been waiting It's like my favorite sound of life. Oh, hi. Sinners in my shirt. Oh, hi. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna be over here. Whoa! I I yeah, I did now. They weren't my favorite. But... Oh god! Oh good lord! Moving floor, moving floor, moving floor. Okay. Ah! everybody find their 70% and we have played a game in which we go from 0 to 100 uh, where you like fake a werewolf transformation and I get them all the way up to 100 and then I back them down to 70 and I was like this is where you should be as your character in your scene at all times. I think the one thing that makes Laurel really unique that I really like is just the building itself that we're in. So being in an old movie theater, the way that our set designer has designed this is really to throw off your senses and to use the ramps that are in this building. I also just love that we have a, an actual theater. It is still a theater with the seats in it and everything and I just think that that's so unique and you can't find that anywhere, you know? Not, not everybody's got their haunts in a, an actual movie theater. Jump. We are now only a couple hours away from opening of the big show on Saturday night. This is a two-day event, this halfway to Halloween event. We actually turned up for the second and final day of the event. People are getting ready, people are in makeup. We've got way more characters here than we did on the dress rehearsal night. So we're super excited. Things are getting into full swing here and not too long until actual customers start showing up. So what can we look forward to tonight? Mm. Spook scares, laughs? Uh, maybe a lot of dark scare areas for me. Oh. I don't like the sound of that at all. Yeah, it's gonna be, I, yeah, I'm gonna get them. Oh. A lot of stroll. I'm gonna stick in there a lot so where you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's the deal with this Jebediah guy? I mean, what's, He's what's our Lord and Savior. Have you not heard that word? We have heard the word Jebediah, but not many other words. Well, he died long ago, and he's coming back to us tonight. All we have to do is sacrifice our sinners. That's why we're creating a big beast so that he will cleanse us all and take us away. Ah, and what do we need for the feast? Just some sacrifice. 
Got it. Got it. So we should be out looking for sacrifices. That's what I'm hearing. Always. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> and uh, are these the uh, the disciple chefs? The rest of our followers. The rest of the crew. Everyone's here for you guys. Uh, so we are really lucky at our hunt. I love makeup, so we do more makeup and more masks than most other haunted houses do. Okay. Uh, we do, uh, we start to make up at four and we try to stop or last butts are in chairs by like 5, 45, 6 so we can get everyone through. Uh, we do, we have six makeup artists, usually nightly, and we do about 30 to 40 actors so the makeup artists actually have more time to do makeup and make sure they're really cool. The coolest part by far about this haunt is that it used to be a functioning movie theater. Many of the movie theater elements, structures, props, and even set pieces are still here and being used to serve the haunt. So let's do a quick tour of the lobby before the haunt gets into full swing. The queue line here weaves all the way around the concession stand and into the actual lobby of the theater itself. It's empty and quiet now. But in the not too distant future, it's gonna be packed in here, shoulder to shoulder. You can tell that a lot of work was done here to remain on theme. So we have horror movie posters lining this entire lobby, past the concession stand, all the way around the perimeter. This is the house on Haunted Hill, which is a very old movie, not the remake. Then Halloween 2 over here. And then we have more recent movies across the way. Over here we have The Boy, which I really liked. A lot of people didn't, I did. And of course, The Conjuring 2, which introduced Valak, aka The Nun, to our horror movie lives. Take a look at all the weathering that was done to make the theater look old and abandoned. I mean, at one point it was abandoned, so some of this is just age, but a lot of it is work that was done to theme it, make it more haunt accessible. I dubbed the... Curtis. Curtis the Wall Critter. They do have restrooms here as well, so no worries there. However, I'm told that the ladies' room has a little bit of a surprise waiting in one of the stalls. Just hangs out there year-round, so make sure you check yourself before you wreck yourself. So it was 2014 that we opened the home, my husband and I. So we were um, at home, he had come home from doing an inspection on another haunted house, and he's a firefighter with Howard Dunn. And so he's like, hey, let's you know, do a haunted house. And I was like, hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then uh, we got it, and we're like, okay, how are we gonna do this? And so we just kind of built from the ground up with firemen, and I, there were literally times where I was like holding a board and Rich was drilling it in, and we, you know, really got by the chin of our chin 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 on our dream, and it just kept building, and it became this whole other entity, and, and became so much more of the community, and to um, all the actors and people who have worked with us over the years, it's really become like an amazing haunt and haunt family. All right, we've delayed enough. It's time to take on the maze. Full throttle! Finally our time to go through and... Wow, I have a special reservation for you here. The fog really adds an extra dimension to everything, doesn't it? I must sweep! You must? You must sweep! You must. Okay, all right. <laughs> Christ! I see you! Oh, I see you too, okay. Oh gosh, no! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Would you like the card here for a chip? That close. Okay. Michael. Ah, Michael. No, Michael. Back to your corner. Oh, oh, it's moving. It was. It's a miracle. It's a miracle! <laughs> Praise Jesus! There you go! Hiding. Ah, alright. I'll, ah! I'll do the hiding. This is definitely a little different from rehearsal. Ah! Ah, ah. Boy, you get around. We didn't even draw straws!
love you. show me different sides of themselves for their characters. Um, that alone adds such a difference to an experience. I like to now bring the spooky side into the drag scene because it's not very common if you see someone coming out like this as a drag performer and you're like, oh. And it's also versatility, like being like glam one day and then you're like, oh, she can pull off a spooky look too. So it's always fun. I love it. This coming year is our ninth year. Uh, we are hopefully getting our beer and wine license this year. So we are we're setting up the whole new bar. We're getting brand new escape rooms. Because next year is our 10 year anniversary and I want to do a full new attraction. So with a new off season event, we have new merch. In addition to the standard merch, which all looks great. This is all from the main season. This one is from the last time we were here. This was here as well. And we were here for the Love is Blind event, which was another off season haunt. And this is the brand new Halfway to Halloween design. Pumpkin skulls! This is what's on the front of that halfway to Halloween. It's literally just that little logo right there on the chest. And then on the back it's gonna be your pumpkin skull design. We do have the Love is Blind shirt that we got last time we were here. This is still here. Sweet! We've also got some new 3D prints including Grogu Pinhead and the delightfully named Pinny the Pooh. Oh, father. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for us here at Laurel's House of Horror for their halfway to Halloween event. I gotta say, I was scared out of my mind, and I've been through this maze already three times. So, <laughs> it's not like it gets dull. They mix it up every season, every event, every year. There's more and more happening here, and we were so thankful to have been hosted here tonight so we could give you kind of a behind the scenes peek at how this process works and how this haunt comes together each season. But this is just gonna pale in comparison to what the main season is gonna be. There's a new escape room coming, there's a couple new scenes coming, and the 10th season is right around the corner according to the staff here. So we are super excited to see how they celebrate 10 years of being in this abandoned movie theater here in Maryland. Until then, we are gonna go ahead and pack it in. I'm Tim. I'm Katie. And every night is a new adventure. And we will spook you again soon. Good night, everyone! Bye!